darndest players I've ever seen. Sure wish I had a lot more like you. <laughs> yes, sir. I was kind of awed by the exuberance of the character. You're really fast for a big guy. We can use you this year. <sighs> I really felt for Freddie every moment of the way. Go. He was dedicated. He was quiet. He always did what he was supposed to do. Let's go out and do it! Yeah! He led by example. He was not the most gifted athletically or size-wise. He was only 5'9", 155 pounds. Son, I'm offering you a scholarship to attend the University of Texas and play football. Maybe you need some time to decide. You will now regret giving me the chance, sir. It's his passion that overwhelms everything he does, fighting every battle head on. Touchdown! The first battle being getting into college because he's too small, and then it being on the winning team, and then it's fighting this pain. How's that leg of yours? Pain is pain. Comes with the territory. Do you see the pain that he tries to hide through Linda's eyes? It's not getting better. You have to go see a doctor. I'm doing all right out there. He just carried himself with, with fortitude and belief in doing everything in a positive manner. That he was able to show up under those conditions. He's, he's amazing. There are a couple of possibilities. Man, your teammate is in the fight of his life. But if there's anybody I know who's up to it, it's Freddie Joe Steinmark. Freddie was a great fighter, and he had a lot of grit in all aspects of life. Hey, Bobby, let's prove him wrong. It's perseverance, keep going. Never let yourself sink into your own despair. There is nothing my boy can't do. My dad said, Freddie Steinmark is the epitome of, of a man. He's what I would always want to be and what I always imagined a, a true man, honest man to be. Freddie, he was my old American. I had the privilege of spending a couple hours with Coach Royal um, before he passed. He was suffering from Alzheimer's. He said, do you remember Freddie Steinmark? And his eyes filled with water. And he just nodded and finally smiled and said, Freddie, I don't think any player touched him or reached him emotionally like Freddie did.